Hello everyone, this is Carmen with the Singer Featherweight Shop. I wanted to talk to you uh, just uh, real briefly about how to change the belt on your featherweight. Uh, first, I kind of want to tell you when would be the right time to replace the belt, uh, what you'd need to look for. Uh, basically, I have a rule of thumb, and that is if your belt is so uh, bad that it causes your bobbin winder to skip, or if it uh, makes a clunking sound as it goes around, maybe it's time to replace your belt. So let's, let's look at a couple examples of when that might be. This belt right here, you can see on the edge right along there, it's got this rough spot. It's going to cause your bobbin winder to basically skip every time it goes over there. It's going to cause your problems winding a bobbin. So that's probably a good example of a belt that should be replaced. Uh, next one here is a belt that's coming apart. Uh, you can see this here, that's, uh, that's going to be a problem. It also has these serious cracks all the way around. And I do mean these are serious cracks. Little cracks we don't worry about much, but these cracks are going to cause your bobbin winder to, to skip as well. And there's probably not any hope for saving that belt. So it's probably time to replace that belt. Here's another one here um, where this is common, where the seam where the belt was made on the inside comes apart. It's going to clunk every time it goes over the motor pulley. Uh, but if this isn't too bad, uh, you can take a little like E6000 glue and try to glue it back together. And you might get a few more years of use out of it. And that's not a bad idea as well. So that one, yeah, might be salvageable, might be time to replace it, just have to see. And then this one here is really common. This belt was probably left on a machine, a machine that was unused for, you know, decades. And uh, it gets that, you know, without the wheel being turned, it gets this hard, hard turn right here. And it becomes very, um, yeah, it'll clunk every time it goes around, basically. Sometimes, uh, if it's not too bad and it hasn't been too many years, just by a little bit of use, it'll work itself back out. You know, the belt itself is nice and soft. Uh, that's good, but um, a lot of times you just you can't get it to work out, and there it's there it's stuck. So anyway, those are examples of belts that uh, needed replaced. If a belt just looks kind of old, a uh, little bit worn, but is nice and soft and uh, is not causing any problems. Uh, I would keep on using it. No, no need to uh, replace it at that point. So now let's talk about actually replacing the belt. What we need to do is the first thing you want to do is to get this so you can see it here is to loosen this screw right here. That screw right there holds the motor on and it's in a slot. And so when you loosen this screw now, you do want to use a screwdriver that, uh, we're, I'm using one of our new uh, Vera screwdrivers uh, that has the coated shaft. You do want to use a screwdriver that has a coated shaft, or at the very least, put some cloth or something in between here. Because the angle of this screw, when you go to loosen it, this screwdriver wants to rest up against the back of the neck of the machine right down here. And uh, we see machines come in where the paint is chipped and such there. Uh, so you want to protect that. So anyway, we're going to loosen that screw. Sometimes those are on really hard, uh, haven't been moved in years. But once it's loose, uh, you don't need to take it all the way out, just a turn or two. Once it's loose, then you can move the motor up and down. So now let's turn this so we can see how to get the belt off. So now that the motor's loose, we're going to raise, raise it up as to its highest point. And then we're just going to take the belt and we're going to roll out do this so you can see it there. We're going to roll out and down and it'll just roll right off the pulley. At that point in time you can just kind of fish it off of the hand wheel and now your old belt is off and we're ready to put the new one on. So here we have a new belt. Uh, one of the things you need to do is to put it on the hand wheel first. Now when it goes on the hand wheel, let me turn this give you a better view, when you turn uh, when you when you first put it on um, you can see there's kind of a little lip up here. Let's see if I can get that to where you can see it. So if you don't get the belt on all the way, it hangs up on that lip. And we often get calls of people saying, well, the belt is too small to fit on my featherweight. When in reality, it's just stuck up there on that little lip. And once it drops down in the groove there, now it, now it looks like it's the right length. So anyway, all featherweight belts, whether black, tan, uh, white, 
uh, or a 222, they all take the same size belt. So here we've got the belt on the pulley, or excuse me, on the hand wheel first. Now what we're going to do is raise it up just onto the end of the pulley out here like this. And then we're going to pull, you know, when we took it off, we pulled it out away from the machine. Now we're going to pull it towards the machine and just roll down. Sometimes it, you have to guide it with your uh, another hand, but once you roll it down, it'll just roll right on. So I'm going to pull it back off and show you that one more time. So it's out here on the end. We're going to pull in towards the machine, towards the motor, and it rolled on. I was able to even do it with one hand. So anyway, that's all there is to uh, replacing a belt. And one other thing I was going to mention is this belt is a V-shaped belt, and uh, so what it's it's designed to be really loose. And as the machine starts to draw power, it draws into this pulley here, and it locks everything together to where the machine will want to go. So it's made to be loose like this. And once you get this belt on like this, you can watch. We have another video on the schoolhouse about how to actually adjust it and get it to the right to the right uh, tension on the belt. But one of the things I, I mentioned this because another belt that needs replaced is if you ever have a round belt on this. There's a round tension belt. It's actually a belt that's usually for vacuum cleaners and uh, often comes from you know vacuum uh, and sew shops. Uh, it is not the right type of belt for a featherweight. It's tight the whole entire time and so it puts much more drag on this little motor and uh, it's hard on your motor. So uh, if you have one of those, I would definitely replace it. Uh, but anyway, that's all it takes to put a new belt on. And like I said, you can watch our other video uh, of how to adjust it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot us a, uh, an email uh, here at the Featherweight Shop. Uh, you can chat with us on Facebook or feel free to give us a call as well. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Okay, one quick thing about uh, motors, uh, replacing belts on motors that have a Bakelite motor pulley out here on them. This piece here is metal on uh, your uh, motors out of the US, but you know, like your white machines out of the UK, uh, or your 222s, uh, even your 221Ks, uh, they're gonna have a motor that has this Bakelite pulley on it here. This is Bakelite, and so it's therefore very brittle. So that first thing that I just showed you about how to get this off by pulling out here and rolling down, um, that there's a good chance that if you try that, you might crack this pulley. And as of yet, there is not a replacement for this Bakelite pulley. Um, and so I'm gonna show you how to do this on one of these machines. Uh, see the little set screw right there? Goes all the way through the shaft on the, on the motor. So I'm gonna loosen it, again, proper size screwdriver helps a bunch but when you get that out you can take the uh, screw all the way out set it aside so it has that little screw and then you can pull this right off of the shaft of the motor old white motor here dirty needs some cleaning and uh, can't do that without taking this off anyway so here you go this is a, a bake light pulley it looks like plastic and uh, but it is very brittle uh, so when you go to put a new belt on here you would put the belt onto the hand wheel first and then uh, slip it on here and then slide it on to the, the pulley like that and then you have to move move the pulley around manually to where it gets lined up with the hole so that then you can put the little screw back in anyway just a safety tip to keep you from breaking that thing as well